Hey, thanks for being patient with me this morning. I appreciate you guys being on the call. It's good to see all of you again. Good, good. Yeah. good to see you too. <laughs> well, now, uh, is uh, I think what I'll begin by doing is... Uh, good morning. Mike, yeah, good to see you again. Good to see you. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll in I go ahead and introduce to each of you. And to my, to my left, viewing left, is uh, Kevin Lee. He's the VP of, and Chief Technology Officer at Loraco. And then in the middle is Bryce Gaston, or Gaston, as they, we would say in Canada, uh, an electrical engineer at Loraco, and Manthan Sheth, who's the electrical design engineer at uh, Loraco. And um, as you, as my viewers may or may not know, Loraco is the manufacturer of the iRobotic 6S chair, which we carry in our showroom and on our website. And I was just down there uh, last week visiting you and had a wonderful time. I just want you to know I really had a great time. We had a, It was just a, a real eye-opening experience to go through your to go through your facilities together and uh, and see how things operate and function. Also, it was great to have Vietnamese food uh, <laughs> at uh, at that uh, restaurant. It was just outstanding food too. But welcome. It's good to have you guys here. Thanks for taking time. Anytime. Thank you. Well, what the gist of this uh, conversation today will be to talk about uh, about Loraco and about the chair and about some other things uh, that that you may feel like you want to discuss in this conversation. But first of all, I thought maybe I could ask a little bit about the history of your company, and uh, and Kevin, you might be best suited to this since you're one of the principals. Maybe you could talk a little bit about how the how Loraco came to be and how you know you came to this point in your existence now. Uh, well, you have how you have been at uh, our facility. Uh, you know, um, we uh, um, uh, Loraco Technology was uh, uh, incorporated in uh, 2005, uh -huh. so it's been about eight years for us now. Uh, you know, we have uh, um, you know, three different sectors. Uh, you know, <clears throat> one is uh, doing the research and development for the government, specifically military. We receive uh, funding uh, to perform uh, advanced research and development for the uh, U.S. Army and U.S. Air Force. Uh -huh. uh, another division that uh, uh, <clears throat> focuses on the uh, controller for backup and whirlpool industry. Um, and, uh, you know, you have seen a, a you know, catalog, a, you know, a product line for that uh, when you were here in our showroom. Um, uh -huh. Yes. And uh, uh, also, uh, we have uh, uh, another business sector that is uh, growing very fast, that it's a home uh, uh, health, health, health and beauty industry, for health and beauty industry. Um, so, massage here. Is, uh, it belongs to health and beauty uh, uh, business sector. Uh -huh. uh, we started the uh, uh, you know development and production for uh, massages uh, about uh, four four years ago. Uh -huh. Yeah, our first uh, um, massage was for salon industry. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, after that, you know, um, you know, we started uh, the development. For uh, you know the home version of the massage chair, uh -huh. and uh, you know we our um, first launch for the, the home massage chair line was uh, about a year ago. Okay, now um, Manthan, were you quite involved with the? Uh, well, and I and I, I forget now the how the responsibilities were split up as far as taking care of this chair and getting the boards made. And and first of all, I guess maybe we could touch a little bit on. The, the, the iRobotic 6S, which is the chair that you have out in the general marketplace, which is your first foray into the into the residential home use uh, massage chairs. How did that, uh, how, what is your, what's the involvement there as far as the development of the boards? The, uh, the, the There's a certain uh, portion of the chair that's made in China, a larger portion done here in the United States, as I saw when I was there last week in Dallas. And of course the assembly is done, but maybe uh, tell me a little bit about how uh, that, that, those things are split up, uh, but you know, how, who, who takes care of what as far as the chair development okay. goes? Uh, as for my role in the company goes, uh, I'm the electrical design engineer and I design the PCBs, the motherboard, which, which is like the brain of the whole system and which controls uh, all mechanisms, all motors, the air massage and all that. And we also designed the, the keypad, the keypad PCB and the interface which talks between the keypad to the motherboard. So all that has been designed in-house, uh, all those PCBs, and then we, we assemble all those PCBs here in-house. Uh, we have uh, automatic machines which, uh, which pick and place and place all those components on the board. 
So all the electronics, uh, everything is assembled here. So. Uh, well, I, I I saw that last week, and I was so amazed by that. I I did video, I took video footage of it, and I, and I'll be editing that video today, and hopefully putting it up tomorrow on the website. But I, I I think it's great for people to see what you do, and I was just amazed at the intricate work that went into creating these motherboards and all the electronic components. Uh, it, it it's it's quite quite a quite a task. Right. Now now Bryce, what is your involvement with the whole process as well? Um, my primary role, my primary role in this uh, endeavor is uh, I handle a lot of the software and uh, the protocols between the different devices, and I also uh, work on, on the work work on and design the Bluetooth applications as far as the hardware and the software for that. Um, it's uh, my background is uh, in, you know primarily in software and software, and so I handle uh, more of the software side and some of the firmware, and I work with Manton to make sure everything talks together and everything works together well. Yeah, you know, here at the Rappo, uh, you know, all the engineers uh, we work uh, together as a team, you know. So uh, you know, so uh, um, we have a you know team meeting regularly, you know. So people, you know, like Manton doing uh, hardware, but you know, some sometimes Brian can help with some section of the you know circuit, and you know. And uh, I can help with something, you know, uh, maybe in the discussion or the, uh, you know, system level. Yeah, we have uh, um, three more engineers uh, who are not here right now. Uh, you know, um, uh, Sandeep, he's a candidate, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, mechanical engineer. He's a PhD candidate uh, um, uh, elect, um, in mm -hmm. the mechanical engineering department at University of Texas, Arlington. Siva, uh, you know, he's uh, doing the uh, hardware and software design for, for us. Uh -huh. He has a master degree uh, in electrical engineer, engineer from the University of uh, Texas uh, um, at Dallas. Mm -hmm. You know, you met Tom. Tom also has a master degree in electrical engineering. And he used to work with uh, for Nokia for about, uh, in um, research development for mobile phone for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. So all our technical stuff. Uh, you know, um, you know, uh, they all have a master degree in, in their field, uh, and I have a PhD in electrical engineering. Well, I think that is such a great point that you're bringing up, Kevin, because, you know, you're the only massage chair company that I've met here in the United States that that has that distributes chairs to the U.S. marketplace, that actually has engineers that are involved in the production and the assembly and the in the engineering of the of the chairs. Uh, most of the other companies, it's done back in China, Taiwan, or Japan. You guys, I mean, you're engineers. This isn't like, uh, you're not like a bunch of scrubs that, uh, like I was when I, you know, uh, you know, I went from digging ditches to go to, to school and, uh, and and make a career for myself. You guys, this is your career. This is your profession. And, and this is, uh, and you're, and you're well-trained in engineering. And I think that's important to understand. People that might second-guess you and think that, well, that chair really wasn't assembled, or that chair really wasn't manufactured in the United States. I think the fact that you have, sounds like six engineers on the team working on this chair, I don't understand if the chair is completely made in China, and it's brought here to the United States, and you're just selling it and saying that it's U.S. made, why <laughs> on earth would you have six engineers on the team for the chair? There would be no use for those kinds of salaries that or that kind of education or pay grade. So I, I think that speaks volumes to the fact that you guys really do have a huge stake in the in the engineering and the in the in the in the in, in the in the workings of this of this massage chair, and I think that's fantastic. And I think that alone speaks to the fact that you really do do what you say you do. I think the fact that you get the the, the body frame and the motors and some of the other components, the rollers and whatnot from China, but all the inner workings of the chair, everything that makes the chair work, makes all those parts work, is all done. In, in, in Arlington. Yeah, um, you know, we have a, a, you know, full engineering uh, capability to develop, you know, basically any uh, electronic products in-house, you know. Um, we can develop software, hardware, electronic hardware, mechanical hardware, um, and then we have a capability to produce those uh, products that we develop in-house. Um, you know, you've seen all the machine, uh, you've mm -hmm. seen our production line, yeah, assembly line, yeah, so we can do, you know, um, you know, from the uh, concept to product research development to production, yeah. all the processes that we can do that in-house. So. Yeah. Our massage chair isn't, you know, our the only thing we sell. We sell 
you know, to various other sectors of the economy. So it's not like we're just doing the massage chair or just doing, you know, the salon products. We, we're very diverse in what we do, and that helps us to bring in new ideas and new concepts that, you know, other companies might not be able to do because they, they focus on just massage or just beauty, and we do a little bit of everything, so we get to you know, hone our skills on, in different areas and then bring them into working on massage chairs or uh, what have you. Well, I, I agree with that. And one thing that I do like about having all of you experts here locally is if we, if there's, if there needs to be a change made or if there's a problem with a chair and it has to do with the PCB or the, the motherboard or, or, or just the reprogramming of the software, you guys can do it all right there. It doesn't have to be sent back to China and try to figure out a problem back there and, and send you know, uh, b broken computer parts back there and have them try to figure it out and then send back new parts. You can fix, you can diagnose and repair and reproduce everything right there in, in, in house. And I think that is a real advantage for your company. And I just thought of one experience and Bryce, you may have been the one that was involved in this. When we, when you first sent me the chair, uh, you know, I noticed that the stretch program only had the ottoman going up and down. And in our market, having a chair that only has ottoman going up and down is not much of a stretch. We, you know, it, you're required to have that chair back go up and down in concert with the ottoman. And you were able to make that change and uh, you upgraded. And Manton, you came to my showroom and you, you upgraded the software. Uh, was that something that, Bryce, you had the program or how, how did that work? Um, I worked with Manton to help... Uh, um, a, make sure that you know the electronics would work like we wanted them to, and then second, I worked with the I worked with the software so that you know you know per your suggestion the back the back goes back and the ottoman comes up, and then on uh, the other side it comes you know the back goes back and the ottoman goes down so that you get a full body stretch rather than just the ottoman going up and down, and you know it's uh, since we do all the software in house we have complete control over what what goes into the software and what doesn't. So, you know, changes like that can happen very, very quickly. Yeah. And also, uh, we, you know, supply uh, or we can provide uh, the reprogramming capability to uh, distributors so that, you know, in the event there is a software upgrade or a software change, we can send out um, either our technicians, uh, engineers to reprogram it, or we can even send a, uh, re a box that reprograms it for you. With just a simple press of a button, it reprograms the motherboard, and then your, you know, the chair has the latest firmware. Um, and eventually, we're looking into ways to reprogram it, you know, via the web. But, you know, that's that's something we're looking into, but it, we haven't figured out a good mechanism for that yet. You, you mean kind of like downloading a new software update, that kind of thing? Yeah. 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 Well, that. I can see that coming. That's going to be part of the future of massage chairs is instantaneous download of an of an upgrade. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're you know we're very impressed with how you know uh, Android and iOS get uh, updates over the air, and uh, we're looking to incorporate something you know something along those lines so that the user doesn't have to you know uh, plug in something to reprogram or have a technician yeah. come out. It just it. It grabs it from their home internet access and uh, install, installs it to their chair. Well, that, that would be a great feature to have, just a great feature. And I just want to speak for, for a moment about...